Let me talk to you about something really serious for a minute. And that's meditation and prayer. Do they have a place where they go together or are they completely separate? Now, in order to explain this, let me give you an example. Let's say your wife comes to you or your husband comes to you and says, baby, I really need some help with this. I have a serious problem. Like, I can't figure this out. And so you spend the next 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just going over what the problem is in detail. What does she need? What does he need? What does it entail? Who's involved? And then it gets to the end and you tell them or you give them your life experience and you say, sweetheart, this is exactly what I would do. And not only does she not listen to you, she continues speaking over you until she leaves the room. And now you're sitting here frustrated because if you just gave all of your life experience to somebody that you love dearly and they wouldn't take, they wouldn't take it at all. They just walked away from you, didn't even care to listen. Now, let's take this up to prayer. You say, dear Lord, Thank you for my bountiful blessings. Thank you for my health. Thank you for my business. Thank you for my kids. And you go on giving examples of all the things that you're thankful for. Then in turn, you pause and you say, now please help me with this thing. Please, dear Lord, my cousin needs this. I need a new job. I need help. I need help to understand how do I manage my children? How do I have a better relationship with my wife? And you continue speaking until you shut it off and say, amen. And you either get up off your knees and you go to work or you get up off your knees and you go to bed. But never once did you stop to listen to what he was saying. This is prayer. Meditation is a two-way connection. It's sitting down and not always are you gonna get revelation and hear you know, angels singing, but sometimes you're going to have that revelation come through you because you're gonna sit down and be quiet and you're gonna allow that experience to come through you now if you have prayer a one-way communication thank you for everything that you've given me please look out for me please help me and then you add meditation quiet time guided meditation whatever version it is that you feel is right for you this is a two-way communication this is where you're, you're giving yourself the opportunity to sit back and listen and get that revelation. This can be done for anything. This part of the King's Academy, we do this every day. We do this meditation to get our mind right, to focus, to get strength in our mind, and also to open ourselves up for any kind of revelation that's needed so that we have a two-way communication. And in your marriage, your relationship with your husband or wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever that is for you. Two-way communication is vital. If there's one, it ends. If you're not willing to listen to that other person, that other person eventually stops. And in prayer, sometimes people wonder, why is God not listening to me? Why is he not here? The truth is, is he's standing next, standing next to you, screaming at you, please shut the hell up for a minute and listen. I'm trying to help you. I'm right here. But you're not listening. So I want you to think about that today. What can you do to start listening along with your prayer for meditation and know that they combine? It's not just one or the other. It's a combination of both which allows this connection to happen.